Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Today we have a Toronto Raptors video for you guys. The Raptors are sitting at 32 and 25. They're, you know, basically tied with the Boston Celtics for sixth place in the Eastern Conference. Now, whew, the Eastern Conference, man, uh, they, they, they've been making moves. They've been busy, particularly Philadelphia, particularly Brooklyn. Uh, but with 25 games remaining on the schedule, you have 12 at home. You have 17 against conference opponents. You're going to start the stretch off with uh, Charlotte on Friday. You have the Hawks on Saturday, and then you have Brooklyn I would I think with both um, KD and Ben Simmons next Monday. So, dude, this is I mean this is a big this is big right here. This is big now in the grand scheme of things. This isn't that big of a deal, right? If if you're thinking like three to five years down the line, this season, as crazy as it may seem, Toronto has much bigger much bigger things planned not that there's anything necessarily wrong with this lineup uh but they definitely turned out to be some kinks particularly with that bench honestly guys i wasn't thinking the bench was going to be this bad i was thinking all right you have goron you know goron ends up playing five games for him i'm thinking all right yeah malachi flynn malachi's barely been playing um delano banton he's starting to come back he started off right hot then went ice cold and now he's kind of getting back to at least nice little mild flavor wing or something of sorts uh Svi Mahalichik, uh pretty much irrelevant pretty much irrelevant i had very big hopes for him uh but if you guys enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button man um i'm had, actually heading out to florida tomorrow so uh, kind of perfect timing with Toronto's next game. Uh, what day is it? It's currently Monday. Next next game's Friday. But so let's look at the Eastern Conference, right? We have six games separating third place with home court advantage in the first round and 10th place for the final spot in the play. And that's six games. Six games. Now, one thing we have seen with Toronto is when they are healthy, when they are gunning, they win basketball games. They win basketball games. Now, they're literally a half game behind Boston right now. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, it's looking like I, my prediction for the top four seeds are Heat, Bulls, Sixers, Bucks, no particular order. I do think Cleveland's going to falter just a little bit. Um, I, I think Boston, honestly, is probably going to overtake Cleveland at some point in the season. Sorry, Cleveland. But Toronto's goal should be getting to that six seed. That that should be the goal, is get definitely getting to that six seed. Now, you could 100% make an argument saying, like, uh, you know, all right, the Raptors, you know, it's it's better suited to, you know, lose and, you know, stay healthy, get a better draft pick. Well, all right, all right that's a fair point. Flashback to two weeks ago, Toronto trades their pick. So it's definitely not all or nothing right now. Like, once again, guys, I mean, OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, these dudes are super super young i feel like at the world raptors nation if you guys for some reason needed a refresher og and Anobi's 24 i mean he's 24 years old scotty barnes is 20 years old you just got precious achua you know siakam siakam's only 27 and he's entering his prime gary trent jr I know he plays like an OG veteran in the league, but he's 23 years old. And then you have Freddie, who's also entering his prime at 27 years old. So as far as Toronto for the rest of the season goes, honestly, guys, I feel really good. I feel really good. I understand there's reason to maybe worry a little bit with, what was it, 17 conference opponents. But in my opinion, those 17 out of the remaining 25 games – that right there is where Toronto can really take advantage of basketball teams. I think one thing a lot of these top teams are probably going to be focusing a lot more religiously on, and I'm talking the Miami Heats, I'm talking the Chicago Bulls, as we already seen with Zach Levine, I'm talking Philadelphia, I'm talking Milwaukee. When you have these teams and you have even like the slightest worry as far as an injury goes, don't play them, right? Don't play them. So I think Toronto, honestly... I think it's, I, th I think they're actually going to rise to the occasion right now. I, the last time I was live, we actually had dudes coming into the live stream, 
saying the Raptors were going to miss the playoffs. I'm looking at you. I'm thinking, what in the world are you talking about? I look at the Eastern Conference. I'm not afraid of Washington. I'm not afraid of the Knicks. I'm not afraid. That's it. Those are the two teams outside of the playing term. You have Washington and New York who both, no disrespect, suck. Atlanta this season sucks. Charlotte this half of the season, this second half of the first half sucks. Charlotte, Atlanta, I do think that they'll be better second half teams along with uh, Brooklyn sitting there at the eight seed at just 31 and 28. So that's the thing. You have a three game lead ahead of Brooklyn. You cannot lose that three or that two game lead ahead of Brooklyn. You have a several game lead, four and a half game lead ahead of Charlotte and Atlanta. Under no circumstance can you afford to give up one of those seeds. The playing tournament's in- interesting. Very interesting. Now, if this was two weeks ago and Brooklyn still had James Harden, I would say Brooklyn isn't that scary, but I still by no means want to play Brooklyn in the playing tournament. That's who they're slated right now. That's who they're slated. So I think you just need to continue to rattle off wins. Keep in mind the Toronto Raptors, they won their last game, so they've won one straight, but they've won 10 out of their last, or eight out of their last 10. So they're still feeling hot, but I think we all can agree heading into that break, it was clear those dudes were gassed, man. The Toronto Raptors players, their starters in particular, were absolutely gassed. And with the addition of Thaddeus Young, I think you're looking at a little playoff run. I think you're looking at a little playoff run. Even if the Raptors make the play-in tournament, win the first round, get your, even if they get a playoff seed, I, even if they don't advance to the second round, which they always can, it's a very, very talented starting five. And with the acquisition of Thaddeus Young, once again, you never know. Maybe you throw in a little wild card if Eric Bledsoe ever gets bought out. Maybe you go for a guy like Eric Bledsoe. But I wouldn't count on that one bit, especially after like the Goron situation has gone. Uh, I wouldn't count on that one bit. But you have the opportunity right here, man. Get it started with a win against Charlotte, a win against Atlanta, and a win against Brooklyn, and you are golden. They would be looking very pretty. You'd be 35 and 25 with just 22 games remaining. If you win half of those, you're looking at was that 46 victories? Or at least in the playoffs, right? So I think I'm not even worried about the Raptors right now not making the play in tournament. What I'm worried about is them falling to the seventh seed, having to play a team like Brooklyn. Even if it's not a team like Brooklyn, and even if it's like a, a Boston or a Cleveland who's, you know, unfortunately just a tier below Brooklyn. I'm not trying to go at either of those fan bases or rosters. I'm just saying, let's be real here. Ben Simmons, KD, and Kyrie, it's a talented basketball team. Um, my concern is just the playing term. And it's, like I said, it's not even that big of a concern because you win one game if you're a 7-8 seed and bam, you're playing the 2 seed. But I would prefer, I think along with everybody else, the Raptors get at least to the 6 seed so you're confirmed locked into the playoffs, you're confirmed locked into a 7-game series. And that's where we might be having a conversation. I'm not saying that the Raptors will take down the 76ers if they met in the first round of the playoffs. Would I be surprised? Not even the slightest. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's try and hit 100 likes. That would be awesome. Friendly reminder, I stream on Twitch almost every night. Link below. I've got a Twitter link below. i got a Rockets channel link below. i got life Lifestyle channel link below. So all my links are down below. Uh, but Raptor Nation, appreciate you guys. Comment down below where are, what seed do the Raptors finish at this season? Peace.